I want to talk about how hysterectomy can really destroy your body shape. Now, this video is not just for women who had a hysterectomy, but it's primarily for women who are considering a hysterectomy. You might want to think twice because here's the problem. When they do surgery, there's all these ligaments that are attached to the inside of your torso, to the bottom part of the ribs, to the lower back, to the pelvis. And when they cut these ligaments and fascia, which is a ligament, it can create an imbalance because all these ligaments are opposing your abdominal muscles. So when you lose this stabilizing base, it can create major weaknesses within your abdominal muscles. And then your stomach starts to collapse and fall forward, giving you more of a belly fat. It can also create lower back pain because you lose the low back curvature. It can even actually spread your hips out a little bit more. Uh, it can create weaknesses in your core. But other than that, I think it's totally fine. And I'm being very sarcastic. There's other side effects too that occur after you have a hysterectomy. Number one, you can lose your libido. You can have bladder issues, bowel issues, even increase your risk for cardiovascular disease and even clots because of the imbalance in hormones if you had a full hysterectomy when they took out the ovaries as well. Depression is a side effect. Weight gain is a big side effect. In fact, the average woman who gets a hysterectomy after one year is weighing 25 pounds more. Also, you can have pain and inflammation, but there are also people that have no symptoms at all. So before you implement any of this information, check with your doctor. I'm just giving you my opinion. The two top reasons, and there's other reasons why someone would get a hysterectomy would be endometriosis and fibroids. Usually both of those conditions occur because you're estrogen dominant. And that means that you would want to avoid estrogen, like birth control pills, um, also avoid GMO cotton. Did you realize that cotton is GMO, which means it has exposure to glyphosate herb, which could mimic estrogen and create problems? So make sure your tampons are organic and also dairy. Um, I've always recommend if you do dairy, it must be organic. But if you are estrogen dominant, I would avoid dairy completely. And other things you need to avoid, of course, is soy. And pretty much all of your foods should be organic, uh, including your vegetables. Because pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides that are on your food can mimic estrogen. So we're trying to reverse that. Now, there's two big things that can help balance your estrogen and give you more good estrogen versus bad estrogen. One is consuming more cruciferous vegetables, and two, consuming sea kelp. If you're gonna take a sea kelp tablet, I always recommend only taking one per day. You don't need much, but a little bit can be very, very helpful. Now, if you've already had the hysterectomy, I hope you're on the healthy version of keto. I hope you're doing intermittent fasting. Both of those together are gonna to be essential in supporting reduction of inflammation, as well as leveraging your metabolism to give you the best chance of losing weight. So you can minimize the excess weight around your midsection. And if you do fasting, periodic prolonged fasting, your body will go through what's called autophagy and will help recycle damaged proteins, as in scar tissue and adhesions that comes with surgery. And the last thing I would recommend, if you do have adhesions or scar tissue, which causes pain, is tocotrienols. It's a type of vitamin E that works very well on reducing inflammation, turning into fibroid adhesions. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto, or you're on keto, and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.